Hi friends, I have a new book to share with you today. In honor of Father's Day, we're going to read Daddy's Little Scout by Janet Bingham. What kind of animal do you think Scout and his daddy are? Little Fox was making music. La 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 la. He said, shh, said Daddy Fox. Listen, Little Fox stopped singing. Tweet, 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 sang the tree sweetly. Is the tree singing? What's that? asked Little Fox. It is the tree making music too? It's Mrs. Finch, replied Daddy Fox. She's singing her nest building song. Can I see? asked Little Fox. Daddy lifted him up higher and higher until he could see the little twiggy nest. It wasn't a tree, it was Mrs. It was the little bird singing Mrs. Finch. Just then, a nut landed clunk on Little Fox's head. Whoops, chuckled Daddy Fox. That's the trouble with trees. It was drop out of them. It's a squirrel, said Little Fox. Is she building a nest too? She's spring cleaning, said Daddy Fox. Everyone starts thinking about their nests and dens in the spring. They make new ones and tidy up their old ones. We can make a new home too, burst out Little Fox. Let's build a nest high up in the tree. Do you think foxes live in trees? That's a good question. Trees are too high for us, said Daddy Fox. They wobble and sway in the wind. We might fall out of them, like nuts. I don't want to fall like a nut, but it's fun to roll like one through the little fox, and away they tumble together. Straight into the bush. Oof, groaned Daddy Fox. I'm seeing stars. They're not stars. They're butterflies, laughed Little Fox. Let's make our new home here, in the butterfly flowers. He leaned over to smell the blossoms and yelped, Ouch! Prickles! Daddy Fox hugged him. It wouldn't be very comfortable to live in there, he said, with all the prickles. Little Fox scampered ahead. Look, Daddy, I found a mouse house, he whispered. Perhaps we could live down there. We're too big and noisy, Daddy Fox whispered back. What well, spoiled the poor mouse's hideaway? But Little Fox wasn't listening. A dragonfly skimmed past his nose, and he was off. I wonder where the dragonfly was. Chasing and racing over the soft grass until Daddy Fox caught up with him at the stream. This is where the fish live, said Daddy Fox. Fox. Little Fox dabbed at the water. I'm glad I don't live in here, he said. It's wet and cold and runny. Like your nose, said Daddy Fox, teasing him. Little Fox splashed him, like your nose. He giggled, and they ran back up onto the bank. It's like Little Fox and his dad are having lots of fun together, huh? All of a sudden, a dome of crumbly earth popped up with a little pink nose poking out the top. What is it? asked Little Fox. It's Mr. Mole, said Daddy Fox. He's tidying his tunnels. Mr. Mole's nose disappeared back into the molehill. I wouldn't want to live down there, said Little Fox. It's too dark for me. And off he ran into the meadow. Look, said Daddy Fox, rabbit holes and lots of rabbits. One, two, three, count, Little Fox. I can see ten. It must be very crowded in their house, said Daddy Fox. Come on, it's time to go. And they raced towards their home. All those rabbits. It must be crowded in their house, huh? Little Fox peered into their den. Our home might get crowded too, he frowned. It looks very small. That's because you have grown so big, said Daddy Fox. It's time for us to move to a new home now. And that's just what they did. They dug and they dug all afternoon until at last they were finished. I'm glad our new home isn't high in a tree or in a prickly bush, said Little Fox, or in a cold, wet stream, or a mouse's house, or a dark mole hill, or in the busy rabbit warren, said, smiled Daddy Fox. That night, Little Fox peeped out of their slow, of their newly dug den. This home is just right, he said happily. Yes, agreed Daddy. 
fox hugging him close. It's the best home of all. It's the best home because that's where they live together, right friends? For me and my own little fox, said Daddy. Wow, that's a beautiful home. And yet they can see all the stars outside at night. Pretty special. And that was the end of that story. Look at all those fireflies they can see outside their den. Father's Day's coming soon. You guys need to treat Daddy kindly and do lots of special things for him. Make sure you give him a hug and tell him that you love him. Thanks and have a great day. Bye, everyone.